Man, so it's uh, it's week 41 now, and uh, making pretty amazing progress. Uh, so this is a video series uh, where I'm taking videos weekly to document what life might be like after you have a house fire. So we're 41 weeks in, and actually just realized, I didn't just realize, but uh, this is about all that's left that would indicate that we had a house fire, this area around the top and upper part of the, I guess the upper part of the front entry door. Sorry, I'm winded. Just uh, brought in a couple of heavy boxes. Uh, so there's that, and then there's uh, the only other indicator that we might have had a house fire was a crawl space vent at the back part of the house, pretty badly charred, and I'm leaving it alone until we move in, I think. I kind of, kind of don't want to have anything to do with it at this point. So, again, we're 41 weeks in. That's 10 months in a week. We have probably uh, five and a half weeks left now. So, um, window trim uh, was, was started this week. The doors were all uh, hung. It's just remarkable how much time uh, our carpenters and care that our carpenters take in uh, creating, you know, making this space feel uh, the way it does. I mean, it, it, it takes, I mean, craftsmanship isn't what it used to be, and these guys are what it used to be, meaning they spend a tremendous amount of time and energy and thought and care uh, making what seems to be, <laughs> me to be, uh, every last p uh, cut of wood um, uh, perfect, and that's what we're aiming for here so cabinets were installed this week this is our master bathroom so a nice tall deep cabinet there uh, and I say that with enthusiasm but <laughs> it turns out we're not exactly sure what we're gonna do with a cabinet of, of this size in a master bathroom uh, it, it could turn out that we store um, like like light bulbs and uh, you know that miscellaneous cupboard that you have? Uh, light bulbs, uh, wrapping paper, uh, balloons. <laughs> I don't know. No idea what we'll end up storing there. So, uh, dehumidifier is still here. It's still drawing moisture out of the air. Uh, yeah, so we are, again, five and a half weeks away. Uh, we have a move-in date of... April 27th, 28th, something like that. We'll be, oh, the thermostat was installed this week. The air conditioning unit was installed. So, I mean, I've never owned a home that had air conditioning, so that'll be kind of a novelty. The kitchen cabinets were installed. And man, are they gorgeous. They're white oak. They're actually a local white oak. If I can turn on the flash here, anyway. Uh, they turned out great. Our general contractor is also a cabinet maker, and they just, just the craftsmanship is just remarkable. It's just amazing of me to see just the kind of craftsmanship we, we have here. So, um, our sink is here. Our plumbing fixtures are all here. The, the, the stove hood, the range hood, is on the far side of the, of the dining room space there. Uh, that's where we are downstairs, and I'll head upstairs. So this is the, I think it might be the first time I've taken a video at night. So, uh, neat to see all the lights on. And I have no idea how my lights work in this house now. You know, you get accustomed to one, you know, switches being in one location, and they all sort of change. So, here's, here's the theater space. And... Uh, it's hard to imagine how this space is going to feel kind of more intimate, but I guess, I mean, how do you make a space like this feel, like, closed in? I guess you're not supposed to, so. Uh, not a lot changed here. Again, cabinetry, lower sets of cabinets were installed for the home theater. Yesterday, the uppers will be installed, I think, later this week. Um, yeah, it's looking pretty, pretty amazing in this space now. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how this space turns out. It's uh, it's turning out better than we could ever have imagined. That in, like, 
there's a giant list of people we could thank and, and we'll do that at some point but and I won't out them on a video of course but that's that's where we are now so anyhow a bit of turning into a bit of an emotional experience now it's uh it, it's uh becoming really uh real that we're moving back into this house uh sooner than later so enough rambling on my name's Eric and this is still my house